Welcome back, everybody. And off we go to Q&A. Uh, we're looking at a nomenclature question for test two. And this will be the format of your nomenclature on test two. And our student has good questions over here. When we're supposed to draw a R delta lactone or a secondary S gamma lactam, keep in mind, you don't have to memorize the Greek alphabet. I, I keep it on the side of the sheet here. So alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. Sow, is that that one? I can't remember. So she asked, we, should we draw the original carboxylic acid so we can close the ring at uh, gamma or and delta? That's a good answer. Um, yes, and you don't. It's not mandatory, so you can do it on scrap paper. And I will use her suggestion and use that as a strategy for doing an R delta lactone. I'll just make a little room on top here. So we'll put it up here. And if we have a lactone, that means we started with a carboxylic acid because we're making a cyclic ester. And the alpha position is here, the beta is here, the gamma is here and the delta is here and that has to have an OH. And okay. And right now there would be no stereo centers in this. So if you can just extend it by one, then you have a stereo center there and you don't have, you could put a methyl group here, here or here or some other group here. You, you can make your own stereo center however you want, as long as you have an R stereo center in this molecule. And now we're gonna close the ring. Ring size will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So carbonyl on top in a hexagon. Okay, and that was where my methyl would be. And right now we have a we have an a delta lactone, alpha, beta, gamma, deltas right here. And it needs to be R. So we're gonna have an H on our stereo center. And H, and then we want it to be R. So one is the O, two is this CH2, three is this. That's counterclockwise. So for our full two points, put the four on a wedge and the methyl on a dash. And that would go right over here. And it gets named after this molecule right here, which is, uh, it's a uh, one, two, three, four, four hydroxy pentanol, uh, pentanoic acid. Uh, but when we're doing the lactone, it'll just be R. It's a delta lactone, delta hexano lactone. And that tells us the original was six carbons long, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it closed up on the delta carbon, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. There it is. So there's the name for this one. And there's the picture. And when we're gonna do a secondary gamma lactam, uh, I'd start off with the carboxylic acid again. Keeping in mind, I need a nitrogen to close it this time. Not on the alpha position, not on the beta position, but on the gamma position. And it needs to be a secondary. So I, I'm not gonna add any more groups there. If I go with that one, when I close it up, the nitrogen go from primary to secondary. And right now she's got alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So that would, I'd have to take a, I mean, she got most of the credit, but she didn't have delta. She had gamma, uh, sorry, she didn't have gamma, but she had delta. So a half point off there. The ring size would be one smaller than what she indicated. And NH, alpha, beta, gamma has the N and there's the methyl. 
which is really this fifth carbon of, of a pentanoic acid. This was pentanoic, one, two, three, four, five. And the name I'm just gonna put as, I haven't made it S yet, it will be S. Uh, let's put it in red. S gamma pentano lactam would go right over here for the name. And the picture is here and we haven't made it S yet. I believe just based on my previous example, the methyl is going to be on a wedge and the H on a dash this time. And that would work out to be one for N, two for CH2 and three for CH3. That's S. So there you go. Full credit for that one and this one. And then over here, she spotted a mistake on my answer key. And she says, why in my answer key did I say octano right over here? Here's the answer key. Well, she fixed it. It said, oct oh, not here. Octano, it should be octene. It should be octforenolactam, like she said there. Good job. So that's an error right there. And this one she fixed is here. No I there though, no little I. There we go. Oct for Eno Lactam is correct. And that would be a nice conclusion for her questions on that. I think we'll end that segment unless the next part is also nomenclature, which I don't believe it is. Now, this is a reaction segment, so we'll come right back and do this little uh, selective reduction, we call it. See you soon. <laughs>